Good afternoon. Buenas tardes. I like that. Yes, yes. How are you guys? Uh, I got nine caucuses. One in in the works, and that's the Progressive Caucuses, and uh, they have uh, uh, submitted all the bylaws work and the, uh, the amount of signatures needed uh, for us to do it. We didn't have a quorum today, but I want to suggest that maybe in the next meeting we can we can talk a little bit and maybe go for about a vote for the uh, uh, Progressive Caucus. Um, on the caucuses is Tony Patel, Asian American, and Tony Molina, the uh, uh, Latino. Uh, his excuse is, uh, I know Tony's here, or he was here. Uh, 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 Antonio is, is studying for the bar. Uh, so he's at home. Uh, July 24th is his exam. So uh, he's at home. Scout Smith uh, is around for the rural caucus. John Ring uh, for the veterans. Uh, uh, Terrence Dix is the one who's proposing the Progressive Caucus. Uh, Colton Griffiths for the LGBT. Uh, Jay Trevary, uh, she's still the intern uh, chair for the senior. But I want to call on three caucuses to do small reports on what they're doing. And I want to start with the newest caucuses, and I think one of the ones that are really doing a difference uh, with the Democrats in the state. Uh, can I ask Roy Taylor uh, from the Green Caucus to come up forward? Uh, next, I will have, yes. Again, how about we can receive Roy uh, to us. Next we will have Denny uh, from the Disability Caucus and next we have Barbara Campbell uh, from the African American Caucus. Roy? Thank you, Roy Taylor. I'm from Cherokee County, but chairing Greening Georgia, the Environmental Caucus of the Democratic uh, party of Georgia, G D P G, which always sticks in my tongue, but it is something that we are looking to promote from an environmental side. I wanted to let people know that there is a group based out of New Hampshire that's working on the Environmental Voter Project. They have found that there are 290,000 citizens of Georgia, voters, who are self-identified as environmentalists who have sat out the last two elections. Because they have felt that there hasn't been candidates that are suitable for their vote. Because we have not paid attention to the environment. We have not made simple statements on our websites on getting our candidates, and this is why we are encouraging all candidates to be able to take advantage of the fact that we've got this voter pool that we want to be able to use, that we want to be able to direct people to say, hey, we've got environmental candidates. You could vote for these people. Imagine getting another 290,000 people voting for Democrats. Because they simply said, we, one of our issues is to protect the environment. So to this end, we are doing a series of different things. We have the caucus trying to reach out to each Democratic Party, Democratic Committee at the county level to have a liaison so that we can have a communication that's going back and forth between the main caucus and each of the areas of the state so that we're not working blind here, we're actually getting feedback in. What are the hot issues in your area? How can we work with the legislators and the other government officials in your area? How can we bring in state agencies that can be looking at an issue that might be in your area? So. We are working on that. We are working on a variety of different information for the candidates. If you are looking for words that you could use on your website, if you are looking for position papers on issues having to do with the different problems that might be in your area, your district, we can help you with those things. So this is what we're doing to help get Democrats elected, which is what I think a major idea is for all of us. <laughs> So, within that, we also have some other projects that we're working on. Let us know if we can be a resource to you. We've got some exciting things about some mapping that's going on, some geopolitical maps that will overlap and 
might end up on every one of your phones for being able to have a good discussion about the environmental situation in Georgia. Thank you very much. Thank you, Roy. Um, Vinny on the Disability Caucus. Let's welcome Vinny. Good afternoon, Georgia Democrats. Yeah. I think we're all still awake. A um, couple of things that are going on. In case you hadn't heard, you probably hadn't. Next week is National Disability Voter Registration Week. Um, I am a partner in a, a growing uh, coalition of disability uh, activist groups here in Georgia. It's called Rev Up Georgia. I actually serve as one of its co-chairs. It's affiliated with the American Association of uh, People with Disabilities. It's their nonpartisan voter engagement and voter participation project. We have been very active here in Georgia. We actually are sponsoring what we're calling the Virtual Voter Registration Drive. If you're on Facebook, you probably saw me posted about 15 or 20 of the groups you're in. If you haven't, please go to our Facebook page. Basically, it's got a direct link right to the Secretary of State's My Voter page. Just trying to get people out there and get them registered. Please share it. Um, we actually, as part of the coalition, have actually gotten, and one of the proofs, disability rights is actually a nonpartisan issue. Next Wednesday, Governor Deal will, will be signing a proclamation making it Georgia Disability Voter Registration Week, which we're very excited. I will be at the governor's office for that. A um, couple other things that the caucus is working on. We do our monthly conference call. No call this month, we'll resume next month. Um, but one thing we're trying to work on is making campaigns and county party and state party functions more accessible and more welcoming to people with disabilities. So we want to work with any campaigns out there, whatever level, with your county parties, to try to help make your functions more, more accessible. You know, if you need ideas, need suggestions, how to make your website more accessible, how to, what kinds of things might make a meeting more open and more welcoming. Please talk to us, we're here to help, we want to help. Um, so just, there is actually a wonderful uh, guide that was put out by the National Council on Independent Living on how to make campaigns more accessible. Um, if anybody wants it, let me know, I'll be happy to send you a copy. It's really well written, really well done. And so that's one of my focuses in the fall, is trying to work with campaigns from representatives all the way down to your local coroner race. You know, so if you need any help on those kinds of things, please reach out. That's what I'm here for. Um, if you have any questions, you do not need to have a disability to get involved in the caucus. All you need to do is care about disability issues. Um, probably we fight again and lobbying again as they're looking to trash Medicaid and Medicare and Social Security, food stamps. Apparently they gotta pay for the tax cuts to the rich somehow, so they take it off our backs. So um, you'll be hearing more about that fight as it comes, as the budget goes through Congress. Again, if you wanna get involved in the caucus, see me, we'd love to have you. Thanks. Thank you, Vivian. I always look forward to that email inviting uh, for the uh, call. Uh, as always, every month he has great speakers uh, to talk about the disabilities uh, uh, issues uh, pertaining state and local and federal uh, issues as well. Barbara Campbell uh, for the African American Caucus. Thank you. In the year of the woman, how bad can it be last? But anyway, thank you so much. I want to say that our caucus has been very active. The National Black Expo met at the Georgia International Center. We want to thank the Democratic Party of Georgia for having us sponsor a table there and for Christian and the persons that came on board. And I had these calendars printed up. And we were able to pass out calendars showing all the election dates. And the county party that I'm a chair of also purchased calendars. So these are nonpartisan. We can place them in different places. And we've been able to place these in salons, uh, barbershops, and businesses showing all the election dates coming up. Additionally, I wanted to say that we're going to resume our phone conference. It will start uh, the third Monday. And you'll get a conference call, a call and post, but you know the new number that we're going to be using. I want to thank Coakley Pendergrass. Coakley, would you stand up? We now have 35 new caucuses in the state. Thanks to the work that caucuses put in.
35 new caucuses. I want to also say that uh, we're going to be participating in the uh, gala, uh, the 2018 gala for uh, that the DNC, I guess, is coordinating. I'm a little concerned that we haven't got enough information about it and that we don't have enough people on the Georgia team who are hosting this since they're coming to Georgia. But I have, I, I have registered and I will be there. It will be July 19th and they have some heavy hitters there. Our candidate for governor, Stacey Abrams, Senator Cory Booker, Mayor Keisha Lance Bottom, Congressional Black Caucus Chair Cedric Rich Richmond. And so, even though it's sponsored on paper by the DNC, in talking to the number of representatives, they don't know anything about it. So I think we need to say something to our chair, Johnny Perez, about that. But since they're coming to Georgia, we do what Georgians do. We'll be there and we'll show up and we'll show support. I want to also say that uh, the Georgia, the Congressional Black Caucus meets every year in September. I have registered for that also. I tell you, you can't be a Democrat without a checkbook, can you? You gotta have a checkbook to be a Democrat. So it's the week of September the 12th to the 16th. It's always in Washington, D.C. It's the 48th Annual Legislative Conference. I will be there. We will have a table there, too, for the uh, prayer breakfast. I encourage you to come. The policy meetings are excellent. Uh, September 28th to the 30th is the SCLC Family Reunion. That will be on Auburn Avenue in Atlanta. Uh, also, that's for we're going to be celebrating the 90th birthday celebration of Martin Luther King in Atlanta, and there's a star study event planned. So our caucus is focusing on power, purpose, plan, and passion. Thank you. Thank you, Barbara. With that, uh, See you in August at the uh, state convention. Uh, make sure that July 24th, we have to go back, okay? Remember, you picked up a Democratic ballot, go back. There's a couple races. We did have a couple races. I know a lot of the uh, uh, counties have some several races. So I want to make sure that you guys, we're already early voting. So make sure that we come out and, and, and vote strong because it will send truly a message. With that chair, that's my report for the uh, constituency group. Thank you. Stein Pedro, thank you so much.